everyone, and it's just about time to check in our weather forecast for today, and uh, that's what it's looking like at Tortola. Uh, wouldn't mind being on, on the beach there right, right. now. It's kind of a nice sunrise out there. Mm -hmm. British Virgin Islands. Looking good out there. Hopefully we can uh, say the same for us in our area, looking good, or at least better than some of the days we've had. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I think we're going to be okay today. Okay. Uh, maybe slowly starting to notice a little bit more humidity. Those top temperatures, they want to stay in the 80s, which will be a, a nice perk. And we're at that point in the year, by the way, when our normal daytime high is supposed to stay in the upper 80s. That happened on Saturday. We switched to our typical daytime high to be 89 instead of up over 90, where it was for like the past 115 days. So we are taking steps in that right direction to bring in some more fall like weather. Fall officially starting on September 22nd, so more than a week away. And we know it'll be several weeks around here before we start feeling like fall. I do see some clouds out there, but it's not wall to wall overcast. We're going to have some sunshine early and the more sunshine we get, the better chance we have to see those temperatures climb up closer to 90 this afternoon. Way out here towards western Texas or towards the western Gulf and eastern Texas, that's where Tropical Storm Nicholas is, and that's going to be the big weather player for the next couple of days. That's going to bring big rains to Texas and parts of Louisiana, and that moisture is going to get pushed around the southeast a little bit, and that may impact our rain chances later on this week. It'll just be some leftover moisture from what used to be a tropical system, but I do think we may have to keep our eyes on that and keep our rain chances a little bit elevated even for Thursday and Friday if that moisture starts to come towards the east. Now it's 72 in Tallahassee, 66 in Thomasville. It's 68 degrees in Valdosta. So we're starting the day uh, pretty mild out there. Nice to see more numbers still hanging on to the 60s. It's 67 at Camilla, 66 Moultrie, Tifton, the cool spot at 65 this morning, and that should start to become a more common set of numbers in the 60s as we continue to go through September. I don't see a lot of wind out there. The breeze has a more of an east component to it. Uh, that will turn a little bit more towards the south and west and bring back some more of the humidity. And while fog is not a factor today, it might become one by Wednesday, Thursday. Here's what's going on with this tropical storm. Looking really impressive on the tropical satellite imagery. Could get a little stronger as it works its way up towards the coastal areas. And by the time it makes a landfall, maybe late tonight or later on this afternoon, depending on how far north it goes, that could be even stronger than it is now. Currently 60 mile per hour sustained winds around that core. So a pretty strong tropical storm moving north northwest at 14. Now as it works its way up over land, we know it's going to get weaker once it gets cut off from that fuel source of those warm Gulf waters. But this could bring one or two feet of rain in spots in Texas. So going to be a big rain producer. Now the winds on the Gulf today start east turn northwest 5 to 15. The seas 1 to 3 feet. We'll put a light chop in the protected bays. How about high tides wrapping up before 8 o'clock this morning? 60s and 70s, we'll call it partly cloudy. Sun doesn't rise until 721 this afternoon. 90s within reach, but not everybody going to get there. We'll call it partly cloudy, about a 30% chance for a few showers, so I'm not expecting very many. We'll keep it partly cloudy tonight and back near 70 in the overnight. Some more numbers that start with a 6 would be nice. I think going to notice a little bit more cloud cover over the next couple of days and our best rain chances look to be Wednesday, Thursday, and that's got nothing to do with any moisture from Nicholas. We'll see how that impacts our forecast over the next several days.